हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेयर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रेड ब्लड सेल्स और इरिथ्रोसाइट्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट ब्लड दैट इज लिक्विड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू ऑफ अवर बॉडी इन ब्लड वी डिस्कस देर आर टू कॉम्पोनेंट्स द लिक्विड कॉम्पोनेंट दैट इज द मेजर वन इज प्लाज्मा दैट वॉज नियरली फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ टोटल ब्लड वाइल द सेकेंड वन इज अबाउट formed elements also known as blood capsules that is the solid component and was nearly 45% of total blood in formed elements we discuss there are three types red blood cells white blood cells and platelets here we will discuss about red blood cells so as given here rbcs this is red blood cells or erythrocytes if we discuss about red blood cells or erythrocytes they are most abundant cells in blood and not only blood but also in human body they are the maximum in number here if we discuss about the number so this is 5 to 5.5 million per cubic millimeter in an adult human adult man in case of female the number is slightly less this is 4.5 to 5 million per cubic millimeter just because of menstruation female carries menstrual cycle and during menstruation there will be bleeding that is loss of blood and because of that there will be comparatively less number of rbcs in female sometimes in case of human beings the number of rbc increases with respect to this normal number of rbc this condition is known as polycythemia same the number sometimes may decreases because of a number of factors this condition is known as erythrocytopenia now when there will be reduction of rbc red blood cells in human body with respect to me with respect to this number in human male then oxygen supply will be reduced downside arrow this is about less or lower so there will be lower supply of oxygen why because rbc in previous video we already discuss about breathing and gaseous exchange and we discuss rbc function is to carry oxygen and carbon dioxide so here now there will be less number of rbc so less oxygen carrying capacity will be there and now there will be shortage of oxygen in body so this oxygen shortage or deficiency will cause stimulation of kidney and when kidney will be stimulated then by kidney there will be secretion of a specific hormone that is erythropoietin so this hormone secreted by kidney only when there will be stimulation by less supply of oxygen in the blood or body now this erythropoietin causes erythropoiesis what is erythropoiesis this is about synthesis of red blood cells in erythropoietic organ what are erythropoietic organ the organ which is responsible for synthesis of red blood cells in our body this is erythropoietic organ so in human this is bone marrow of longer bones so when there will be more supply of erythropoietin there will be increased number of rbc so this is a mechanism to maintain the number of rbc in body now about the shape so rbcs normally they are biconcave here this is biconcave as well as circular so this is side view when we see from the side then this is biconcave when we see from the surface or superficial this is circular in nature here the biconcavity is very helpful because this increases the surface area with respect to circle this biconcave nature carries more surface area that's why this this will contribute more in gaseous exchange during gaseous transport by blood or rbc here in some cases rbcs may be oval shaped or 
बाई कॉन्वेक्स ओवल एंड बाई कॉन्वेक्स एग्जाम्पल्स आर गिवेन यर लामा एंड कैमल सो दिस इज एक्सेप्शन लामा एंड कैमल दे बोथ आर मेमिलियंस एंड हेयर दे आर नॉट कैरिंग बाई कॉन्केव एंड सर्कुलर आर बी सी हेयर इन सम केसेज आर बी सी विल बिकम सिकेल सेफ्ट हेयर दिस इज दिस इज सिकेल सेफ्ट स्ट्रक्चर सो आर बी सी विल बिकम सिकेल सेफ्ट एंड दिस अकर्स ओनली इन द कंडीशन वेन अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इज सफरिंग विद अ डिसऑर्डर दैट इज नोन एज सिकेल सेल एनीमिया एंड दिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ ऑटोसोमल रेसेसिव जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ डिसऑर्डर आर बी सी इज इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू सिकल सेफ्ड हेयर वेन दे आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू सिकल सेफ्ड स्ट्रक्चर देन दे आर ऑक्सीजन कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ग्रेटली रिड्यूस्ड सो आर बी सी सेप मे ऑल्सो बी सिकल सेफ्ड इन नेचर नेक्स्ट इफ वी प्लेस आर बी सी दिस इज हेयर सर्कुलर आर बी सी एज वी डिस्कस सर्कुलर फ्रॉम द सुपरफिशियल साइड फ्रॉम द सर्फेस वाइल साइड व्यूज दिस इज बाई कॉन्कैब सो दिस इज आर बी सी वेन दिस आर बी सी प्लेस्ड इन हाइपोटोनिक सोल्यूशन सिंपली इन साइड आर बी सी देर इज साइटो प्लाग सो इफ वी प्लेस दिस रेड ब्लड सेल्स इन अ हाइपोटोनिक सोल्यूशन हाइपोटोनिक यू कैन से दिस इज डायल्यूटेड सोल्यूशन डायल्यूटेड सोल्यूशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सोल्यूशन विच इज प्रजेंट इन साइड द रेड ब्लड सेल्स देन देर विल बी देर विल बी इनफ्लो ऑफ वाटर हेयर दिस इज डायल्यूटेड सो फ्रॉम हेयर वाटर विल मूव इन एंड नाउ दिस विल कंटिन्यू टिल इक्विलिबेरियम टिल इक्विलिबेरियम एंड इन दिस सिचुएशन इफ इक्विलिबेरियम इज नॉट गोइंग टू अचीव वेरी क्विकली देन दिस विल कॉज बस्टिंग ऑफ रेड ब्लड सेल्स आर बी सीज मेम्रेन विल बी डिस्ट्रॉयड बिकॉज ऑफ मोर एंट्री ऑफ वाटर सो वेन आर बी सी इज प्लेस्ड इन हाइपोटोनिक सोल्यूशन और डायल्यूटेड सोल्यूशन देन दिस विल बस्ट एंड वेन आर बी सी प्लेस्ड इन हाइपरटोनिक सोल्यूशन हाइपरटोनिक मीन्स कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन देन देर विल बी मूवमेंट ऑफ वाटर आउटसाइड फ्रॉम द आर बी सी एंड दिस विल कॉज रिडक्शन इन द साइज ऑफ आर बी सी दैट्स वाई आर बी सी विल स्रिंक एंड दिस विल बी स्मॉलर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू देयर नॉर्मल सेप नेक्स्ट दिस इज अबाउट साइज सो हेयर साइज ऑफ आर बी सी इज सेवन माइक्रोमीटर दिस इज नॉट गिवेन हेयर इन दिस चैप्टर बॉडी फ्लूड्स एंड सर्कुलेशन बट इन चैप्टर सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ इन दैट चैप्टर द साइज ऑफ आर बी सी इज गिवेन सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द साइज इज सेवन माइक्रोमीटर एंड हेयर इन केस ऑफ आर बी सी इफ There is a deficiency of vitamin B12. This is here for body. If in body there will be deficiency of vitamin B12, this deficiency will cause is enlargement of RBC. Means RBC size gradually increases. As we discuss here, when this is placed in hypertonic solution, sorry, hypotonic solution, then size increases. There is also increment in size, but this is not because of hypotonic. This is because of vitamin B12. That is also known as cyanic cobalt. I mean, carrying cobalt. So when there will be deficiency of B12 in body, B12 B12 is needed for maturation of RBC. So RBC enlarged, and this enlarged RBC is known as macrocyte. And this macrocyte is non-functional in nature. We will discuss about. Second, when there will be deficiency of iron in body. then there will be reduced size of rbc rbc size is getting reduced and that type of rbc is known as microcyte so b12 deficiency causes enlargement of rbc rbc size that is macrocytic rbc and deficiency of iron will cause reduction in rbc size that is microcytic rbc in both these situations the rbc is non functional and this kind of rbc is just going to be damaged or destructed the destruction occurs here in spleen 
स्प्लीन इज अ ऑर्गन और यू कैन बेटर से दिस इज अ लिम्फॉइड ऑर्गन विच इज प्रियंट जस्ट बिहाइंड द स्टमक एंड हेयर दीज बोथ काइंड ऑफ आर बी सीज इन लार्ज वन दैट इज माइक्रोसाइटिक आर बी सी रिड्यूस्ड वन दैट इज माइक्रोसाइटिक आर बी सी दे बोथ आर गेटिंग डिस्ट्रक्टेड हेयर एंड दिस डिस्ट्रक्शन विल कॉज रिडक्शन इन रेड ब्लड सेल्स इन अवर बॉडी दिस सिचुएशन इज नोन एज मैक्रो एज वेल एज माइक्रोसाइटिक एनीमिया there will be reduction of rbc that's why there will be reduction of hemoglobin we will discuss about hemoglobin is present inside the rbc and this hemoglobin deficiency causes anemia so anemia is here of two type earlier we discussed sickle cell anemia that is a genetic disorder where rbc converted into sickle shaped with respect to normal circular and bi concave nature this converted into sickle shaped so here oxygen carrying capacity decreases while macrocytic and microcytic the reduction the destruction of both will cause reduction of rbc number in body so this is known as macro as well as microcytic anemia now the next one is about color of the rbc so rbc this is appearing red in color but that's why named as red blood cells but this occurs or this appears red only when rbcs are present in bulk because of hemoglobin while when they are singular or individual when they are single then they appears slightly yellowish in color now about the structure of rbc here when we discuss about the structure of rbc we already discussed the process for rbc synthesis is known as erythropoiesis while for blood synthesis this is known as hemopoiesis so a newly formed rbc is carrying all cell organelles which are usually present in normal animal cell but when we discuss about fully mature or functional rbcs there are few differences what are that so one by one we will discuss about first about cell membrane so here cell membrane of red blood cells this is known as donans membrane and this is very very important to memorize here if we discuss about the permeability of rbc membrane this is permeable for chloride minus as well as bicarbonate ion while this is impermeable for sodium ion as well as potassium ion and this permeability and impermeability respectively for anions and cations is known as donans phenomena that's why the membrane is known as donans membrane now in a fully matured rbc there is no nucleus nucleus just degenerated or disintegrated and that's why fully mature rbc is enucleated or non nucleated in nature means there is no nucleus not only nucleus there is also deficiency or degeneration of a number of cell organelles like mitochondrion endoplasmic reticulum golgi body centriole ribosome all these are getting disintegrated the singular is mitochondrion while plural is mitochondria so deficiency of all just because of degeneration this will provide huge internal space inside the rbc to carry more hemoglobin so maximum rbc internally is filled by hemoglobin and hemoglobin is for carrying oxygen but before this here we have to discuss because of lack of mitochondria there is no mitochondrial enzyme and mitochondria is the site for citric acid cycle or krab cycle that is the part of aerobic respiration so here there is no mitochondria no citric acid cycle enzymes that's why rbcs respires only anaerobically there is only anaerobic respiration in rbc here only there is completion of glycolysis there is no citric acid cycle or krab cycle this is also known as tca cycle tricarboxylic acid cycle 
नेक्स्ट एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इज ऑल्सो एबसेंट हियर सो एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम प्रोवाइड अ फ्रेमवर्क दिस ऑल्सो फॉर्म्स साइटो एस्केलेटल सिस्टम सो बिकॉज ऑफ एबसेंस ऑफ ई आर द इंटरनल कॉम्पोजिशन इज फ्लेक्सीबल और स्पॉन्जी वाट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द साइज ऑफ आर बी सीज द डायमीटर वाज सेवन माइक्रोमीटर सो बिकॉज ऑफ देयर फ्लेक्सीबल नेचर और स्पॉन्जी नेचर ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ ई आर एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम द सेवन माइक्रॉन डायमीटर आर बी सी मे ऑल्सो पास थ्रू अ कैपिलरी दैट इज ऑफ फाइव माइक्रॉन सो दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द फ्लेक्सीबल नेचर दैट दैट इज ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ ई आर गॉलगी बॉडीज इज ऑल्सो एबसेंट सेंट्रियोल इज नॉट देयर सो सेल डिविजन इज नॉट पॉसिबल राइबोजोम्स इज ऑल्सो नॉट देयर सो प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस एंड न्यूक्लियस इज ऑल्सो एबसेंट सो ऑल दीज एक्टिविटीज आर नॉट पॉसिबल सो जस्ट डी जेनरेशन इज ऑल्सो बेनिफिशियल फॉर आर बी सी दैट विल हेल्प टू कैरी मोर एंड मोर हिमोग्लोबिन एंड द हिमोग्लोबिन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कैरिंग मोर ऑक्सीजन सो हेयर सर्फेस एरिया इंक्रीजेज टू कैरी मोर हिमोग्लोबिन इफ वी डिस्कस इन अ सिंगल आर बी सी अबाउट हिमोग्लोबिन सो देर आर टू एटी मिलियन हिमोग्लोबिन मॉलिक्यूल्स इन अ सिंगल रेड ब्लड सेल्स इन हंड्रेड एम एल ब्लड देयर इज ट्वेल्व टू सिक्सटीन ग्राम ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन दिस वी अर्लियर डिस्कस इन ब्रीदिंग एंड गैसियस एक्सचेंज लेक्चर्स सो दिस इज अगेन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ मच हिमोग्लोबिन इज देयर इन हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ ब्लड दिस इज ट्वेल्व टू सिक्सटीन ग्राम डेफिशियंसी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस विल कॉज एनिमिक कंडीशन एनिमिया इज लैक ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन और इनडायरेक्टली वी कैन से लैक ऑफ रेड ब्लड सेल्स ना अबाउट हिमोग्लोबिन सो हेयर हिमोग्लोबिन सिंपली दिस इज डिनोटेड बाई एच बी हिमोग्लोबिन इज कंपोज बाई टू सब्सटेंसेज द मेजर पोर्सन इज ग्लोबिन प्रोटीन दिस इज नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट वाइल फाइव परसेंट हिमोग्लोबिन फाइव परसेंट हीम इज प्रजेंट इन हिमोग्लोबिन हिमोग्लोबिन इज अ नॉन प्रोटीनेशियस पार्ट वाइल ग्लोबिन इज अ ग्लोबुलर प्रोटीन सो वेन देर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ प्रोटीन विच इज कैरिंग नॉन प्रोटीनेशियस पार्ट ऑल्सो इज नोन एज कॉन्जुगेट प्रोटीन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन breathing and gaseous exchange about variety of pigments like hemocyanin this is also a conjugate protein that carrying cyanin or copper so this is conjugate protein in case of hemoglobin this carries quaternary structure that is again very very important we earlier discussed protein are carrying four different types of structure primary secondary tertiary and quaternary so hemoglobin is a quaternary type or structure wise quaternary protein now about heme so heme is a iron porphyrin complex here there are four iron atoms and iron present in form of fe plus 2 that is in ferrous situation so iron present here in ferrous situation each iron of hemoglobin is capable to carry one oxygen molecule so there are four iron in one hemoglobin so one hemoglobin is capable to carry four oxygen molecule one iron one one iron atom one oxygen molecule four iron atom four oxygen molecule so one hemoglobin carries four oxygen four oxygen molecules like hb o2 four we can write like this now if we discuss about the protein part which is globular protein globin this is carrying 2 alpha and 2 beta chain when we discuss for adult while in case of fetal life there are 2 alpha and 2 gamma chain here each alpha carrying 141 amino acids while each beta and gamma this one is carrying 146 amino acid now one thing that is very important fetal hemoglobin carrying more efficiency or more affinity with oxygen so fetal hemoglobin because of this gamma because of this gamma amino acid this one is capable to carry more oxygen so adult 
adult globin is made by 2 alpha and 2 beta while fetus made by 2 alpha and 2 gamma this gamma is getting replaced in adult by beta now what are the sites for production of rbc so rbc in very young earlier embryonic stage produces by yolk sac that is a type of extra embryonic membrane out of four embryonic membrane these four are amnion chorion allantois and yolk sac this is yolk sac that is responsible for rbc production in very early embryonic stage while in post embryonic stage this is liver and spleen in post embryonic stage rbc production occurs by liver and spleen and after birth this is bone marrow of longer bones that are responsible for rbc production so all these all these are responsible for rbc production we discuss production of rbc synthesis of rbc is known as erythropoiesis so these organs are known as erythropoietic organ these organs are known as erythropoietic organ now about the lifespan of rbc this is nearly 120 days in mammalians or in humans in mammalians this may be slightly variable with respect to humans so in humans this is 120 days now very important about spleen so earlier we discussed about spleen here we also discuss about spleen so spleen is located just behind the stomach attached with the stomach this is lymphoid organ or lymphatic organ here spleen in very earlier embryonic stage sorry post uh, post embryonic stage is responsible for rbc production so excess of rbc is also getting stored after birth in spleen that's why spleen is known as blood bank blood bank of rbc and when there is excess of rbc in body then there will be destruction of rbc also there by spleen so spleen is known as graveyard of rbc here we discuss the life span of rbc is 120 days so after 120 days when there will be destruction of rbc in spleen then the hemoglobin portion of rbc is also getting disintegrated and this will convert into bile pigment that is bilirubin bilirubin and biliverdin bilirubin and biliverdin there is also formation of urochrome that is pigment of urine as well as stercobilin as a pigment of feces so all these pigments are just synthesized by destruction of hemoglobin one more thing that is very very important for rbc so this is about this is about rule of formation here rule this is rule of formation what is rule of formation so when there will be very slow movement when blood pressure is very low or when blood is connected in a test tube then rbc we earlier discussed about the shape of rbc this is here like this this is biconcave so rbc just getting attached one by one one by one here like this and they will organize just like a coin just like a coin over the surface of each this arrangement of rbc is known as rollo formation and this rollo formation is stimulated by a plasma protein that is known as fibrino fibrinogen so here rollo formation is also a very important rollo formation incident or phenomena is indicated by or just uh, shown by which particular cell so these are rbcs that's all for the video thanks for watching if you like this then please subscribe the channel comment and share with your friend circle thanks again